trigonometric, the trigonometric functions. The functions are expressed B, sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecant. These are formed by the triangle. For example, sine of alpha equal uh, opposite cathetus uh, on hypotenuse uh, equal uh, a on c cosine of alpha equal adjacent cathetus uh, on hypotenuse equal b on c uh, tangent equal uh, opposite cathetus on adjacent cathetus equal a on b are some definitions uh, cosecant of x equal 1 on sine of x uh, second of x equal to 1 on cosine of x tangent of x equal to sine on cosine uh, cotangent of x equal 1 on cosine of x now let's see a trigonometric equality second square of x equal 1 more tangent uh, square of x um, as we see tangent equal sine and cosine and uh, second uh, equal uh, one on cosine equal one more sine of x on cosine of x square and equal one more sine the square of x on cosine square of x and we develop uh, the sum um, uh, it gives you this, um, cosine the square of x on, on cosine the square of x more sine the square of x. We remember that equal to 1. And so we have uh, 1 on cosine square of x and the refer uh, is second and equal second square of x and and we see that equality is true are a way of expressing multiplications of an expression by itself a certain number of times. So when evaluating and simplifying exponents, we use the log of exponents that are a series of rules that help us find the value of an expression more quickly. With the first log titled log 1 and exponent potency equal to 1. And this tells us that when the exponent is 1, the result will be the same value of the base. That is, a to the 1 is equal to a. And for example, we have um, 9 to the 1 equal to 9. Okay, log 2. Exponent. Potency equal to zero. Well, this tells us that when the exponent is zero, if the base is non-zero, the result the result be one. That is a to zero is equal to one. Okay. For example, and um, we have twenty to the zero equal to one. 
Okay, log three, negative exponent. Since the exponent is negative, the result will be a fraction, where the potency will be the denominator. That is, a to the minus m equal to one between a to the m. For example, we have six to the minus two equal to 1 between 6 to the 2 Fourth law Multiplication of potencies with equal base So to multiply uh, potencies where the base are equal and different from 0 the base is maintained and the exponents are added This is a to the m and for a to the m is equal to a to the m more n and for example and we have pi to the cube or pi to the square is equal to pi and to the three more two this is equal to pi to the pi Fifth law, division of potencies with equal base. To divide potencies in which base are equal and different from zero, the bases are maintained and the exponent and are subtracted. This is a to the m between a to the n is equal to a to the n minus n. For example, um, we have nine to the 2 between 9 to the 1 is equal to 9 to the 2 minus 1 this is equal to 9 to the 1 6 law multiplication of potencies with different bases and this law uh, has the opposite of the fourth law that is <clears throat> if there are different bases but with equal exponents. The bases are multiplied and the exponents are maintained. a to the m for b to the m is equal to a for b to the m. For example, <clears throat> we have 10 to the 2 or 5 to the 2 is equal to 10 or 5 to the 2 this is equal to 50 to the 2 seventh law division of potencies with different bases if you have different bases but we call exponents the bases are divided and the exponent is maintained this is a to the m between b to the m is equal to a between b to the m. For example, we have theory to the 2 between 2 to the 2. This is equal to uh, theory between 2 to the square. This is equal to 15 to the 2 8th law potency of a potency when you have a potency that is elevated to another potency that is two exponents uh, at the same time the base is maintained and the exponents multiply that is a to the m to the n is equal to a to the m or n okay for example, um, 8 to the square to the cube is equal to 8 to the 2, 4, 3. This is equal to 8 to the 6. Finally, we have the 9 law, fractional exponent. If the potency has a fraction as an exponent, 
and it is resolved by transforming it into an umpteenth root, where the numerator remains as an exponent and the denominator represents into root index. This is a to the n between n equal n root of a to the n.